Hello everybody, this is Brian Bracken, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this top section into a slideshow. It'll be a full width slider. Let's uh, start. What we'll do is we'll click on Enable Visual Builder. And once the Visual Builder has loaded, we're going to roll over this top section and we're going to see the gear and we're going to edit the module settings. Now to add a slider, what we need to do is go to this point here. It says Add New Item. So let's click on the plus sign here. Now we're going to add in a new slider. We're going to call this slider Test Slider. We've already gone over the information on how to add button text, button URL. What we're going to do now for the slider is we're going to actually add a background image. So let's click Upload. We're going to upload some files. So we're going to click Upload Files, Select Files. What I'm going to do is just select uh, this image here as an example. It's a little light bulb. We're going to click Open. And once that image is loaded, we're going to click Upload an Image. Now we've actually added an image in the background there. We're just going to add some text in the content area here. Are we added in there? The Power Lead system rocks. It is so bright. Now, again, what we need to do is click the uh, check mark to save changes. And then we need to then click the check mark again to save changes. Now that uh, slide has changed. We're going to we're going to click the slide. Notice here we have the test slider. Power Lead System Rocks it is so bright. We can actually make this section automate so that it will automatically scroll on its own. So let's go back to the gear setting and set modules. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down to automatic animation. And that's like making the slideshow work. So we're going to click that to be on. Right now it's set for changing at seven seconds. We can also see the two little dots signifying that there are two sliders on here. If you want to add more sliders, all you have to do is click on add new item again. So you could have as many as you want in here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the check mark to save changes. And to save all of these changes, we'll again click on the three dots and then go over to save. Now that you know how to make these edits using the Visual Builder, let me show you how to make the exact same edits using the dashboard. You can use either method for making your edits. It's just a matter of personal preference. So let's go now to Edit Page in the dashboard. Where we want to go is to this module here, the full width slider. We're going to click on the three dashes. That'll edit the module. And to add a slider, you need to click on Add New Slide. Okay, so for the new slide, we're going to put a heading in there as uh, Power Lead System Continues. And now we'll add in the background image. So we'll click on Upload an Image. So since we've already uploaded an image that I'm going to be using as the example, I'll just click on the uh, image that I want to use. You'll see the check mark come up. Now we'll go as Set as Background. We can see that actually that has loaded. Now we're going to scroll down and to go on to the next portion. And that's down here at the bottom. We're going to look at contents. So we want to put a little bit of content in here. And the content that we're going to put in rocks the tool set you need to advance your business. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to save this slide. To add other slides, all we have to do is click Add Slide. Another point that we need to look at here is that we can control a couple of things, such as we can hide the slider controls. That'd be like the arrows showing up and the little dots, or we have slider controls. If we leave that on, you can see it in the example. We can also hide arrows or show arrows. Another thing that we'd want to do is, again, automatic animation. And this is what makes the slider work, like a slideshow. So if we click on that, you'll see that the slides will continue to move back and forth. Again, we can have the animation. We can actually set the timing for each slide to show on the screen. And we do that by editing this value here. What's there right now is seven seconds. So let's change this to five seconds and then it'd be 5,000. Remember, 1,000 per second. And we can do a number of other different effects. Now, if we want to use them, great. If not, just test them out and see what they'll do. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll save and exit. Now we've saved the module. So let's finish up. We have to remember, click update or else we'll lose all of those edits. So let's click update. Now that we've updated the page, let's go to permalink and see what the changes are. Soon we'll see the slide change. There we go. So now the slide has changed. The power lead system continues. Okay, oh, it looks like we have an error here. Now this is a good example of how we can edit this error. The power lead system continues rocks. It doesn't make sense. So what we're going to do, we're going to change this using the visual editor. I've already enabled the visual editor here. So let's go back to the gear and let's fix this error that we have. We're going to look at this uh, slide here, the one that says Power Lead System Continues. We're going to click the uh, gear for editing. 
we're going to put in here power lead system rocks instead of continues. So we'll just edit this and then we'll scroll down to the bottom and change this here where it says rocks and just say the tool set you need to advance your business. Again, what we're going to do is click on the check mark, save changes, and then we're going to click on the check mark, save changes again. And now what we're going to do is go down to the three dots and expand settings and click save. And we know this has been saved once the check mark shows up on the button here. Thank you for watching this and I really appreciate that you're on and we'll look forward to seeing you on the other videos. Thank you.